Well, hi everybody, and today we're here in, well, we're just outside of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we're here at the Lauder's Barbecue. We heard so much about it, so we decided to come here and try it, and then we're gonna head to Greenbrier and do a little hiking. You guys ready? Ready. ready. Let's do this. Let's do Let's it. Do it. Lauders is located four miles outside of Gatlinburg on 321. Well, we're gonna try the Lauders barbecue. Kind of a little hole in the wall place here, just outside of Gatlinburg. Well, here's their uh, menu, and you have pulled pork sandwiches, sneaky pig, loaded baked potato, a bologna sandwich, and there's their sides. They also have appetizers, platters. There's William, Smoky Mountain Hiker. And on. Look at, it's here I got, look at those ribs and the fried macaroni and cheese. And look at the pulled pork, wow. And Dawn, what did you get? Nacho. Look at the nachos. Nacho. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's big, isn't it? And William, you got what, pulled pork and fried mac and fries. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, those look good. Look at this, that is awesome. The rib. So this must be a thing here to get dum dum suckers. Did you see that? Yeah, what what kind did you get? Strawberry dum dum. Strawberry. And I got what a it was like a strawberry too or what'd you get root? You got root beer? Oh my God, what is this? Hey, good. Did you also my nacho? Oh wow. And mm -hmm. the fried. Fried mac fried macaroni and cheese. Go. Yeah. You like it? It is really good, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually a really good deal. It's, what is that? Like under eight dollars, right? Under eight dollars. Under eight dollars. It's huge. She's already got into it quite a bit. And mine was only like thirteen dollars. And look at all that. And I'm already halfway like into it. Oh, William over there, I'm gonna shine a camera on you while you're eating. <laughs> it is good, isn't it? Well, Dawn ordered the nachos, which was $7.79. I had the two meat platter, which was $13. And uh, William had a pork platter, which was $10.29. Our drinks were $2, and our total was $41.24. Well, we just left the Lauders, and uh, we're gonna go do some hiking over at Greenbrier. Well, this here is a popular place to do some swimming. In fact, we Don and I have swim many of times, and the water is way low right now. Normally, it's a lot higher than that, and there's actually a waterfall right there. But because we haven't had rain here in like the last 20 days. The water level's way low, but still good swimming opportunity. So you come into Greenbrier from that way, and you'll notice there's a ranger station on your right. Smoky Mountain Hiker, he's been here a few times, right? Engine Creek Trail. This is Engine Creek Trail. And Don, have you ever been on Engine Creek Trail? No. no. <laughs> it's a floating leaf. Oh, well, Don's seeing floating things today, but... Okay, William, so what kind of trail are you taking us on? So, here's the back side of the ranger station here. It 
this is what I like about the Great Smoky Mountains. Beautiful path. You got the sun shining through the trees and the beautiful. I don't know what kind of trees these are poplar. Well, I can already tell that this trail here isn't heavily traveled. It's probably one of those trails that's not really like publicized by the National Park. Um, but William is going to show us something really cool. Now, I've known about this for years. I've always wanted to come here, and we just never done it. And William was like, hey, let's go to that. So today, what we're going to is we're going to an old steam engine. Now, the story was is way back, many years ago before the National Park became a National Park, this uh, steam engine, kind of a tractor, actually rolled down this hill and because it was too heavy and too costly and the parts weren't available to be fixed or brought out of it they left it and it's been here ever since are you excited don okay william smoky mountain hiker guy smoky mountain hiker you ready yes he's gonna show us the way well almost right off the bat we came to a a footbridge and one of the things in the Smoky Mountains I love the most is these footbridges. I don't know what it's about, what it's about with me and them, but I absolutely love them. Well, this creek here is actually flowing pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good seeing that the rest of the creeks and stuff in the area are a lot lower. Well, it's definitely fall time here in the Smokies. As you can see, the leaves are starting to fall. And you can smell the crisp autumn smells in the air, like the, the leaves and everything else. I noticed a lot of stuff's got a yellow tinge to it. And we're just now starting to see a little bit of color. Okay, so this is a good time to talk about our um, dinner we had at De Lauders. So, uh, Dawn, what did you think about it? I got the pulled pork nachos. I thought it was really, really good. Yes, so I had the two meat. Um, the ribs were out of this world. It was really, really good. And the pulled pork was really good, too. Uh, we had the fried macaroni and cheese. Fried macaroni and cheese was good. Um, a little bit spicy. This is spicy. It has a little bit of a spice spiciness to the... Um, the cheese and I had french fries and it was all good. Um, what'd you think about yours? I thought it was good, but I'm like, you did. She yeah. did have like a little spice to it, macaroni and cheese. Yeah. But it was good. It was good. Um, guys, and believe it or not, what we paid was really cheap because I know last time we were at some other uh, barbecue places in Gatlinburg, we paid a lot more for just two people. So, and the proportion sizes were huge. Yes. Were huge. So, but. Yeah, I'd definitely give it a thumbs up. I'll give it two thumbs up. Beautiful engine creek here. Running on the side of the trail. So William, you said that there is a home site here, right? Yes. Yeah, just over here. You can see some of the little bit of a foundation. And during the winter months, you were saying that you can actually see like parts. And there was a lot of homes actually here in um, Greenbrier. In fact, this is one of the most populated areas of the national park when it became a national park. So a lot of old ruins in the area. Oh, the spring house. Oh, wow, yeah, you could tell. An old spring house. It used to belong back to that house there. Oh, wow. Kind of dry now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can see, like, I can see a pipe up there. So you can see some of the remnants of the old homestead here. Well, here's an old wall 
I could see off to the side here part of the old homestead that used to be here. A lot of little signs of early settlement. Beautiful. There's some of that. I think that's called quartz or yeah. something. Yeah, it's quartz there. You'll see that scattered. Especially in this area. I see a lot of it in this area. So we come up to another footbridge. Well, that's cool. There's a little place down there you could possibly swim and the water is rolling off that that rock down there <sighs> what do you think so far Dawn? so far so good we had a lot of um, creek crossings didn't we? <laughs> yeah and uh, a lot of um, little remnants of the different settlements and stuff that were in here I like the bridges. Uh, the little foot bridges. So far. Yeah. So the trail is not that wide, and vegetation is pretty much creeps over the side of it. Yeah, another footbridge. Wow, this is like footbridge highway here. This is cool. Started to become one of my favorite trails here. You can see a retaining wall here on the side of the trail. There's a cemetery that way called E. E. McCarter Cemetery. That way. But uh, we're gonna start heading, we're still gonna head towards the the engine. We're gonna follow the the creek up here. There's no footbridge on this one, but you can skip rocks. So now we're starting to climb in some elevation here. All of a sudden you'll come to well, technically, it was a steam-powered engine, or a lot of folks would say a tractor. You can see there's another um, rim over there. You can see an axle there. And here is the actual engine. So the story goes, uh, that he was... The farmer that was driving around the cliff here, he lost control of it and it came tumbling down here into the creek and it was just too uh, too much to get it out of the creek so they just left it and um, you can see the old the old boiler that's where they would have put the fire to get this beast going you can see another axle off to the side so pretty much a lot of this is actually still here intact but we're you see the sprocket and gear but um yeah battle creek michigan so 
see the tire over there for the other one and the axle. So what do you think, Don? Awesome. I kind of want to get my picture taken in front of it. Oh, okay. You see, I did it too. You see, this is made in Battle Creek, Michigan? That is so cool. Yeah. Found its way out here in the middle of the Smoky Mountains. There's actually uh, pieces of it all through here. It's hard to yeah, see. see the tire and then the axles spread out too. There's actually another, another axle further down that way. Well, Don, what do you think? This is awesome. Yeah, so out two and a half miles out into the Smoky Mountains and you got yourself a, uh, a steam engine. A steam engine. Yeah. I don't think Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, parts all scattered. Well, they made things real tough back in the old days. You gotta remember, this has probably been sitting in this river for close to a hundred years. And uh, she's still pretty much, well, intact. Well, there's William down there. Well, we made it, right? Yay. Wow. You know, believe it or not, it was more impressive than I thought it would be. Um, I've been actually studying on this for a while, this is a, and we just never made it out here. And I want to say thanks to Smoky Mountain Hiker for bringing us out here. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty impressive. Um, <laughs> And I like history here in the mountains, and this is definitely history, you know, of of them bringing this down the mountain here, and it fell over. And it's from and Battle Creek, Michigan. Yeah, it, yeah, it's from oh. Battle Creek, Michigan. And, uh, you know, what William was reminding me that they were actually taking us to Roaring Fork uh, to, you know, use it, and that's when it, it fell. But uh, amazing. It is amazing. Well, we're back here in Pigeon Forge. We just left the Great Smoky Mountains. What would you guys think about Injun Creek Trail? It was great. Yeah. It was kind of a tough hike, but I made it through. I barreled through. And it, it does have elevation all the way up. It was up. worth it, though. Yeah. It's like 2.3 miles, something like that, uh, one way. So it's, we did about almost five miles, like, almost. But, uh, yeah. And the engine. Wow, that was, was awesome. Um, it's a great story. Uh, it's actually quite impressive, I think. But, well, guys, that's going to do it for today here in the Great Smoky Mountains. If you like this vlog, give, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't, Check out Smoky Mountain Hiker. See, he's got a t-shirt, Smoky Mountain Hiker. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, he hikes the Smokies, and I want to say also say thank you for uh, taking us to the engine today. Thank you. And until next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, Thanks for watching. watching.